In this video, you will learn how to take portraits of strangers on the street without getting punched in the face. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. If this is your first time watching, please hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all the photography content I'm putting out. Now let's get to it. Now I'm gonna do this video a little bit different than a lot of my other here's how to do this kind of videos. So instead of me just telling you how to go out onto the street and take street portraits, I thought it'd be better if I showed you how my friend Jordan approaches people on the street here in Boston to take their photos. So let's join him as he takes some photos on the streets of Boston. <sighs> La da 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 da. Excuse me. How's it going? Um, I'm a street photographer. I do like pretty much this all day, every day. I walk up to people with specific things that kind of stick out to me and ask if I could take a picture. I was wondering if I could get a picture of you, actually. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. One more. One more. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I wanted to do film, but I didn't feel like making her wait, especially not even knowing what language to say wait in. <laughs> I was just wondering if I could take a picture of you. Oh, sure. <laughs> I was like, I want to make it really awkward not, first. Uh, no, no, just uh, do you. I'm a street photographer. Um, kind of, yeah, you already like poison everything. Uh, one, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I've started doing this thing where like, if I like get close to locking eyes with someone, I'll be like, and then look down, and then they look back up, and they're like, hey, I just wanted to know if I could take a picture. I figured that would be exactly where you were going to stop. <laughs> One dude was like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's good, though. I like it. <laughs> it works every time. I've not yet gotten, like, a truly bad review. <laughs> I only do it in situations where I feel myself, like, inching away from it or like trying to like be more covert with them. Like I shoot in a covert manner just because it's part of the form itself, but it doesn't need to be something that I internalize. It's like how I practice photography. Exactly. So whenever those situations come up, I go out of my way to like push myself out of that. Just because even, I mean, even though I'm not like out here for portraiture, everything that I do in terms of pushing myself out of that comfort zone helps in terms of when I actually am in a more poised po portrait situation. It's crazy how well I know this area now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. Sir Rob. <laughs> how you doing, man? How you doing? Uh, I said Rob. I mean Ross, man. How you living? Uh, just chilling, man. Hey, what's up, man? Shooting with some <laughs> film today. How's it going, Jordan? Good to meet you. Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Actually, yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> I was talking about both of you, but then you just kind of shirked out of it. I'm like, all right, it works, it works. She's like, I came out for one photographer. I was not. <laughs> um. ah, okay. What's your Instagram name? Uh, J-O.Christopher. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> and I've got a dead phone. Um, dude, man, I'll see you around. Have a good one. See ya. <laughs> you don't want no problem, want no problem with me. Just another day at the pick up all the mail. How's it going? Thank you. Um you mind if I take a picture? You mind if I take a picture of you? 
Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool, cool. No, I was talking about of, of you. Like just this, this whole right here. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Awesome, thank you. Have a good one. I've never had the ideal situation for that to happen. One time on a train, um, I was on the green line over near Charles and GH. No, this was over near Science Park. Um, same area, pretty much. But um, this guy, like, he just saw me standing there. I was taking a picture of myself, actually. They have, like, the little mirrors that the drivers use once the train pulls up. And I just wanted to get me with all the tracks in the background and the reflection. And he saw me and it was like, yo, you should take my picture. And I was like, wait, really? <laughs> all right, word. So there it is. It's pretty much that simple. You just approach people and ask to take their photo. And most of the time they say yes. So I hope this video inspires you to get out there and get out of your comfort zone a little bit to explore street portraiture if that's something that you're interested in getting involved in. So we'll see you soon, folks. This has been Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.